I'm Eric Olson, winemaker at Clos de Bois. Sonoma County has been the home for Clos de Bois for over 30 years. As a winemaker, Sonoma County offers a real paradise for making world-class wines. The difference between the Sonoma Reserve wines and our classic wines, they're, they're both of very high quality, but when you get to the Sonoma Reserves, you're really drilling down to more specific flavors that you can associate with an appellation. Sonoma County, I think, is a very unique place in the world uh, to grow wine grapes because of the diversity of soils and climates. So Alexander Valley is ideal for Cabernet Sauvignon and Merlot. You have very warm days, which you need in order to achieve good ripeness, but you also have cool evenings. The soil composition is really important, and the topography of the valley is also important. So where I look for the very best Cabernet and Merlot vineyards are on the hillsides and the Benchland vineyards. It's hillside vineyards like this one here in Alexander Valley that really give the power and the finesse and the supple tannins to the Sonoma Reserve Cabernet Sauvignon. And the kind of characteristics that I get are blackberry fruit, cassis, licorice. I think the real defining characteristic of Alexander Valley Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon is the softness of the tannin and the approachability. The influence of the coastal fog on the climate in the Russian River is very dramatic. Russian River, Chardonnay, it's a heaven for Chardonnay. What you have in this condition is a very slow ripening of the Chardonnay. And it's the slow ripening and the cool condition that gives you the vibrant fruit flavors, the very high acidity level, which um, which I think is very important in making Sonoma Reserve style Chardonnay. 100% of the Sonoma Reserve Chardonnay is barrel fermented, and this is 100% done in French oak barrels, and that it's, it comes out delicious. The Dry Creek Appalachian is very well known for producing outstanding Zinfandels. Some of the vineyards have been there for over 100 years. One of the signature elements of Zinfandel from Dry Creek is this sort of peppery quality that you get, along with nice blueberry flavors. When we make this wine, we're looking for grapes that um, have a pretty high maturity, and that makes a, a very rich, yummy wine. The Sonoma Coast is an area that I think excels with Pinot Noir. The wine that we've made for the Sonoma Reserve Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir comes from a single vineyard site near the little town of Annapolis. This particular vineyard is up on a ridge top and it lies above the fog line, so it gets a lot of sunshine, but because it's so close to the ocean, it also has a really nice cooling influence. These vineyards are surrounded by redwood trees. The fruit characteristics that you get um, are phenomenal. Uh, the flavors are boysenberry, blackberry fruit, rose petal, very soft, silky texture, and nice richness. The Sonoma Reserve wines are wines that I take a lot of pride in. There's a lot of hand work that goes into these. I have the chance to, in a way, cherry pick the very best. The reason I'm a winemaker is because I like to be out here. Um, I like hiking around these vineyards. It's a beautiful place.